Hi everyone, today's tutorial is going to be a drawing about 3D shapes. So to start out, we're drawing a circle at the top of the paper to represent our sphere. Now we're going to be drawing a cylinder underneath the sphere. Draw a stretched out oval shape. Now draw two lines coming out of the oval and connect those lines. To the top right of the sphere, draw a square. Then draw parallel lines coming out of each of the vertices of the square. Connect those lines to make a cube. To draw the next shape, which is a rectangular prism, use the same technique as the cube drawing, but instead of drawing a square in the beginning, draw a rectangle. Now to draw a square-based pyramid, draw what looks like the top of two triangles next to each other. Draw a parallelogram underneath that, connecting the bottom lines. For our next shape, which is a triangular prism, use the same technique as the cube, except draw a triangle in the beginning instead of a square. Now you can fill in the rest of the paper with smaller 3D shapes. Once you're done, your paper should look something like this. Now we're going to make a checkered background with lines spaced half an inch away from each other. Make sure to not cover the shapes that you have already drawn with your lines. Once you're done with your vertical lines, your paper should look something like this. Now onto the horizontal lines. And you're done with the sketch. Time to start outlining. If you want your shapes to stand out, I would recommend outlining your background with a thinner marker and outlining your shapes with a thicker marker. When you're done outlining, your drawing should look something like this. Now it's time to start erasing the pencil marks. And you're done with the drawing part. Time to start coloring. To make your drawing more colorful, you can color all your different shapes in different colors. For different parts of a shape, like different parts of this cube, you can color it different shades of the same color. Once you're done coloring all the shapes, you can start coloring in the background. You can either color each square of the background a different shade, or you can color every other square a different shade like what I'm doing. Keep going and here's the finished product. I hope you had fun doing this drawing and see you next time. Bye!